Okay, that was a waste of frickin' time for an introduction! Uh, did at least the other stuff get through? Well, if anything, you guys had music. So, let me redo that preamble all over again since... Well, this little update I got for OBS decided to change a few things. Yay. Let me actually check. Okay, that works. Anyways, now I'll try this again. This will be a series that follows a character known as Neon Blacktail. I came up with him a while ago because I wanted to have a pun on the name of Argonians. As you can guess, Neon, yeah, kind of steps off from the name of the species. And this was initially meant to be a series that would more or less simultaneously show up on YouTube with Craft Craft of Five. Both series would be getting mods over time through donations where people can donate like a small amount. And then I would add a mod that would change things up a little bit. You know, just like maybe a little thing here or there, like maybe a little bit of a fix. Or a little change, an extra quest, a little extra NPC, stuff like that. But nothing that is not safe for work, which is like nudity-wise, since, you know, America loves being ashamed of its own body and the whole series, uh, the whole idea of anatomy. Yeah, anatomy is a natural part of your body and a natural part of everything. I mean, you're fine with not blurring out the parts of an animal. But, God forbid, it's a frickin' human. Ugh. So, Nian will be playing in character, will be played in character where I voice act as him, and he will interact with the stream, so expect a little bit of a fourth wall knock here or there. And ye we all know how Skyrim's a little bit broken in its own ways, and exploitable in some places, or just plain glitchy. So, to make up for that... Uh, Neon will be well aware of the absurdity that goes with playing Skyrim over and over and over and over and over. You know, just the general fun that kind of comes with playing these games. I have restarted Skyrim so many freaking times to do different characters because I was so... Eh, not happy with how my playthrough was going. So, yeah, there'll be a little bit of a commentary on going through another life. Again, and again. So please forgive me for making this so late, and I am thankful for those of you who do show up at this time, since it's only 9 in my time on the Pacific time, on the 14th of August, a Monday. Now, to give another explanation, I will be likely switching my stream days to Mondays, so I'll be starting you off hopefully on a good note for the week, rather than helping finish off the week on a fun note. While I like to provide fun on either day, I work from Thursday through Sunday from 5 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And while I could still keep my streams on Friday, I kind of prefer that my time after work is just relaxing or hanging out or just doing stuff that maybe isn't too active because, well, work is a little bit tiring. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. Oh, great, my frickin' chat's deciding to not work. So, thank you, OBS, for your new update and glitching things out. Give me just a second to try and fix that. Let's try this again. Alright. Let me do a little test. There we go. I can see the chat regardless because I always open a new window for the chat itself so it's nice and in actual size. OBS shrinks it down so it makes it hard to see. Yes, Animorph, I can see you. Hello. So you might be kind of thinking, why am I talking out of character? Shouldn't I be doing this little in-character thing? Yeah, well... Introductions. I'm Jester Dayrama. I just make a little bit of Dayrama. It's just... I mean, it's just what I do. If you want to suggest that. <laughs> yes. So, 
Now that we are getting things all good and going, let me get Skyrim started up. It's not the special edition, because, like I said, the original Skyrim actually has a community of modders. Something that is a lot more stiff in the special edition. Where, you know, Bethesda Softworks wants to make you pay and pay and pay. <laughs> mm, yes, we like your money because microtransactions give us the profit we need. <laughs> yes, money's good. The evil of all things. <laughs> the root of all evil. <laughs> Anyways, why you boop the bug, Rhythm? Let me get this going. And once I hit new game, that's where I go in character. I will still respond to the chat, but it will be in character. And as much as I love to do all my various voices, my voice will be a little bit more, yeah, I don't know, a little more Argonian. Since they have this kind of habit of being a little bit gravelly and a little bit soft-spoken, maybe I'm kind of hopefully catching the right tone for the voice, but eh, I do what I do because I like to have fun. I do voices and characters because they give me life. So, I will make commentary as the game goes on in character. So, yes, everyone knows that theme song because Skyrim's coming out for the fifth frickin' time. Oh, yay. Thank you, Bethesda Softworks. You really know how to move forward when you want to keep your MMO going. I mean, if your MMO is good, people will actually keep playing it. And you can still release a new game. I mean, what's keeping you from releasing a new game? Other than maybe, oh, I don't know, you want to just squeeze the freaking money milk out of that freaking cow. <sighs> right. New game. Yes. Start a new game. Now this will be a fun time. And yes, this stream will go up in full on YouTube. Because, well, I've kind of turned into more of a streamer than a YouTuber nowadays. And, I don't know, I think I kind of enjoy a bit of interaction that I comes with coming on the stream. Because, I mean, no offense, but my YouTube videos, while they are getting a few views, I mean, literally, they're only getting few views and I have 3,000 subscribers. So, I have no idea what YouTube is doing now with all of its algorithms, or if I just somehow lost to like 2,000 subscribers because of their inactivity, despite them still being subscribed. I honestly think Twitch is a little bit more, um, not, not interactive necessarily, but it's got more of a conversing community than what I seem to be getting on YouTube nowadays. So, who's ready to get Skyrimmed? <laughs> yes, I'll make that lewd little pun too there, Rhythm. <laughs> yes. Alright, character time! Oh, look at that dragon. So sleek, so sharp, so detailed. Are all those horns necessary? So, I wake up to text in my eyes. The immersion is perfect. Life is but a game. One where I must play repeatedly. Always cycling through the motions. Now, some of these characters, you may already know them, but I have to be reintroduced since, well, life's a game time to play <laughs> sorry another voice decided to laugh at a pun that I saw in a stream chat you yes oh I've been awake you were trying to cross the border right? uh, no right into that imperial ambush same as us and that thief over oh there. sure perfect situation cloaks Skyrim was fine until you came along Empire was nice and lazy they hadn't been looking for you Wrong place, right time, apparently. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these stormcloaks the Empire wants. 
We're all brothers and sisters in vines now. Shut up back there. What's wrong? Oh, with excuse him? you, Mr. Watch Fancy. You're speaking to Alfred Stormcloak, the true High King. He doesn't have a crown. The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh gods, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. Oh, maybe for this you. Can't be happening. This isn't happening. I just get brought back to life, hey, apparently. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be in the home. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. General Tully is, sir. The headsman is waiting. I guess with this soldier, you have to really keep up your guard. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Yeah, praying uh, always works. Worked for me just General fine. Tully is the military governor. And it looks like I mean, the I guess praying would have been great yeah, if it didn't get me caught. They had something to do with this. The streams that you see will be on Mondays due to a certain actor's voice schedule, or not voice schedule, work schedule. This Sorry, I was thinking happening. voice actor and actor Things at the same time. I mix up words on occasion. It happens. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Ah, the fun of civil war, isn't it great? Well, don't you love the condolence of violence? It's kind of sad, really. Violence is so openly accepted that it just seems to continue repeatedly. Just like this. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage. You've got the oh, well, you were a little bit you. late getting to your post. Mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Well, our our lists keep road. things organized. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Guessing he's one of those extremist types. Here of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Apparently, they can. Up. You're not gonna kill me. Archers. Anyone else feel like running? Somehow, his binds Wait. broke. You then. Step forward. Well, that makes sense in this world. Getting you shot gets you free. Who are you? I'm not a Nord, but I need to be created. I guess in this stage of life. I'm not that green. Yeah, this seems to be a repeat. No one knows who I am, so I always have to start over. From every beginning. Now, I'm, of course, male. As you can probably tell by my gruff voice. Now allow me to cycle through my appearance. So I can be, oh, you know, looking good for this world. Hmm. Should I go with horns this time? Since, you know, being horny is all the rage. <laughs> hmm. Give me just another moment. Eh, I don't think I have scars. Well, let me work with this appearance and change things up a little bit. I'm not a changeling necessarily, but, well, I look a little bit like a lizard type, and they're slithery types, always adapting to their situation, much like we Argonians always adapt to our environment. 
Hmm. My skin tone will be... Well, not that white. A little bit darker. That works. Well, I'm not that buff. Maybe just a little bit less. But I kind of work out where I can. Alright. Time to change my face a little bit. Oh, looks like I got sunburn. Or not. Well, I don't need dirt on my face. Ah, no, I don't need that. Well, scars make me look cool in some badass form. You know, just that old, oh, how'd you get those scars? Well, I could ask any joker the same question. Why do all my scars have to be on the same side of my face? I mean, yeah, apparently everyone who attacked me was right-handed. God forbid they were left-handed. I mean, gods forbid. There's so many gods, why can't you just be specific to one occasion? Yay, how about I get a fight with Khajiit? Those Khajiits always like to claw everything. I mean, we Argonians have claws too, but... Not as... Pointy, I guess, as a Khajiit. What kind of scar would be across my eyebrows straight across? Well, I'll just say I got slapped back as you just because. Well, my war paint color. Hmm. What color should I go for? Eh, I shall say. Blue would be a better look. Now yeah, let me just get the arch of my nose right. Hmm. Nah, looks like someone punched my face in with that one. And that many options for a nose. Well, maybe go with this. It's not too bad. Eh, I would rather have a longer nose. You know, actually look a bit more lizard-like rather than someone flattening my face. My jaw... Well, not that wide. I don't look like a soldier necessarily, but I guess I have to fill any role that I can. In this world, there are a lot of roles to play. Even if it is a case of, you know, kill or be killed. Alright, I'm trying to concentrate on how my appearance should be. I can sculpt my face any way I want. No one will know the difference. Well, couldn't hurt to go a little bit of... Eh, I don't think I need that color. Let's go for more blue. I think blue in general would be a nice representation of being a cool and calm Argonian. Oh, that's right, I haven't even introduced myself. I am Nian Blacktail, but right now I'm just a prisoner, since any empire that rules on an authoritarian, author, sorry, authoritarian viewpoint. Anyone who opposes is a prisoner. Uh, should I color my chin? Nah, I don't need to.
pardon me while I adjust more of the color to my face. Black and blue is a nice combination. Sorry, my eyes seem to be shrinking and growing. That's an interesting feeling. Eh, a nice spiky look doesn't hurt. Hmm. Maybe if I move my eyes like this, I'll be fine. Well, Animorph, I don't exactly believe that an Empire type would be able to spell an Argonian's name correctly, even if we do seem to share a similar language, for whatever reason. Hmm. Let's add a bit of a flare to the eyes of mine. Oh, there's the color of my friggin' eyebrows. Hmm. Is that too much blue? I don't know, I think it looks nice on me. Hmm. I think I'm looking kind of good. Well, my brows could have some nice horns. And I think of them arching back a little bit looks a lot nicer than arching down. Makes me look a little bit more streamlined. Hmm. <laughs> so many things to change about your look. Hmm. I can't even see a difference. Oh, now I can. I mean, no one but me will be able to know how my own face looks, apparently. I just seem to be placed in a rather generic position. I don't really want to have this yellow look to my lips. That looks a lot better. Hmm. I could have horns or I could have feathers. What type of Argonian am I? Well, looks like I have a mohawk of horns in this case. I think having a form of hair like this looks a lot nicer. Hmm, is that purple or blue? Any clicking you may hear is controlled by a certain player in my head. Uh, maybe that's too much blue. Hmm. Well, I don't want to have too much blue on my head. So let's go with some black feathers. 
since those are nice and sleek. Oh yeah, naming that character. I'm just a character that everyone wants to play. My name is Nian Blacktail. Let's start our adventure. Are you a relative of one of the Rift and Dark Workers, Agonian? Oh, that's just plain Captain, racist. What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain so returned to Black Marsh. Yeah, thank you for Follow generalizing Captain twice. Prisoner. See what I mean about violence being oh, so Prince openly Falco. accepted? Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. It's just a matter of the times. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Because that means no one else is going to start doing an uprising, what was it? right? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the you. love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. You know, you could have waited. I mean, his life isn't, you know, meaningless or anything. Not like we know who he is. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. Oh, always a matter of family. Well, that's one way to get ahead in life. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Where are those voices even coming from? As fearless in death as he was in life. All of these are Stormcloaks, apparently. Sorry, all of these people. I shouldn't be so unspecific for, you know, the types that are a little racist. The block prisoner. Nice and easy. Yeah, just knock me over. Yeah, just have me kneel on top of this body. This is totally comfortable. It's the most comfortable I have ever been. Oh, thank you for your sense of convenience. Well, your job is done. Oh, the dragon, right. I should be worried and running. No, I don't have anything to worry about. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure the guards are something to worry about when a dragon is attacking. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Yeah, you'd need to yell like that in a close space. Oh, what am I saying? People should be freaking out as a dragon. I mean, it's not like I've gone through something like this before. Oh, my life lags because of a certain sequence. Great. Oh, that's unfortunate. With arms wide open. Ah, that hurt a little bit. Let me just go to this random arrow that's in front of me. You need to get over there. Now! Data boy, you're doing great. Toral! Everyone get back! I could have sworn that boy got burned. Prisoner, keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tullius and join the defense. Well, life is just plain scripted, isn't it? Oh, I never noticed that soldier up there before. Hope you have good aim. Stay close to the wall! 
Oh, hello, Wing. Quickly, follow me. Oh, you're moving very fast. <laughs> Notice my sarcasm. Well, I have a choice to make. Do I follow a Stormcloak or do I follow an Empire? Oh, you apparently know each other. Well, I have nothing to worry about. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, jeez, Louise. That hurt a little bit. I mean, I, oh yeah, I'm totally binded, that's right. Oh, he missed. Well, I guess the nice decision's been made. Thank you, dragon. Oh, fine. Well, apparently I did touch the wing there, Animorph. It was right there in my face. Looks like it once made it. Was that really a dragon? To bring us of the end times? Oh, it's not the end, it's we just the beginning. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, not like they were unbinded when I was there knocked over. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. What what bones? See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Oh, time to make some money. See if one of these chests has some armor. I'm working on it. Mixed unit tactics. Mixed unit taxic tactics in the Five Years' War, Volume 1, by Codus Colonus. Or is it Calanus? Ah, what does it matter? The legions could learn from an, the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Years' War against Valenwood. I was stationed at the Sphinx Moth Legion Fort on the border near Dune and witnessed many of the northern skirmishes firsthand. The war started with the so-called Slaughter of Torval. The Khajiit claim that the Bosmer invaded the city without provocation and killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claim that the attack was in retaliation for Khajiit bandits who were attacking wood caravans headed for Valenwood. In the spring of 3E396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinx Moth. I was posted... Oops, wrong way. Well, I'm a little bit tired. Lost my place on the page for a moment. I was posted on Lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with... Spoke. Sorry. Tired. You know. Going through that whole situation of waking up against... An empire that wants to kill you. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosmer who fought in the battle, and it will serve us as an excellent example of how the Khajiit used a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in the, an unusual way by sending tree cutting teams of Cathay Rot and their fearsome Senke Rot, or Battle Cats, into the outskirts of Valenwood's forests. When word reached the Bosmer that trees were being filled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri religion, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. The Bosmer archers took up positions in the remaining trees, whose branches were now twenty or more feet apart, allowing some light into the forest floor. The Bosmer bent the remaining trees with their magics into small fortifications from which to fire their bows. 
When the tree cutters arrived the next morning, a half dozen Khajiit fell to the Bosmer arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Senke Rot and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even the enormous Senke Rot, were able to hide between this shelter and one of the larger trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit would not leave their shelter, some Bosmer those to chose to descend and engage the Khajiit sword to claw. When the Bosmer were nearly upon shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing on a native instrument of plucked metal bars. This was a signal of some kind, and a small group of the man-like Omez and Omez Rot emerged from covered holes on the forest floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosmer archers in the trees would have still won the battle were they not having troubles of their own. A group of the Doggy and Doggy Rot, two of the less common forms of Khajiit who live in the trees of the Tenmar forest, jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could hold, not hold a Bosmer's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws and either torches or spells of fire accounts from the two survivors I sp two survivors I spoke with vary on this point. This player has a bad habit of changing the page the wrong direction. To distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place, a few of the archers were able to flee, but most were killed. Apparently, the doggy and doggy rot have more magical ability than is widely believed if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. One of the surviving Bosmer told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the doggy and claimed that these ordinary cats are known as Alfik and that they were the spellcasters. But Bosmer are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth, and I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of a force of no more than four dozen, while the Bosmer lost nearly an entire company of archers. The survivors were unable to report back before a second company of archers arrived, and this strategy repeated again with similar results. Finally, a much larger force was sent, and the Bosmer won that battle with the help of the native animals of Valenwood. That third skirmish and the Khajiit response I will discuss in the second volume of this series. You better get some gear. I am working on it. Sorry I choose to learn more about this world. The Holds of Skyrim, a field officer's guide for use by officers of the Imperial Legion. Welcome, loyal officer of the Empire. Oh, what if this would end up being me? You have been given this guide to help you and those men under your command better understand the geography of Skyrim. Since you'll be serving in Skyrim for a lengthy period of time, this information should prove invaluable. Skyrim is organized into nine holds. A hold is a large area of land roughly equivalent to a county in Cyrodiil. Each hold is governed by a Jarl who maintains his court in the hold's capital city. Four of these holds are fairly small and sparsely populated. As a result, the capitals are little more than towns. The five major cities in Skyrim act as capitals for the larger holds. Following a detailed review of each hold. Eastmarch, located in the eastern reaches of Skyrim. Eastmarch shares a common border with Morrowind. Jarl or Ulfric Storm. Ah, stop, jeez. Your name's a jumble. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak rules from the ancient city of Windhelm, and he and his followers should be considered your most serious threat. Do not tread lightly in Eastmarch, for the Stormcloaks are at their strongest and most organized in these lands. As an Imperial soldier, you will find few friends here. Falkreath, located in the pine forests of Skyrim, southern Skyrim. Falkreath Hold borders Cyrodiil to the south 
and Hammerfell to the west. It is most prominent its most prominent geolog geographical feature, Lake Il Ilian Ilanalta covers a vast portion of the region's central landscape. Oh, you can't enough just squeeze that word right in here. The hold capital, also called Falkreath, is home to the largest cemetery in Skyrim as a result of numerous battles that have taken place over the years. The remainder of the area is almost entirely wilderness, and the only other notable settlement is Helgen to the east. Falkreath's position in Skyrim is rather strategic for the Empire. It not only controls access to the Reach, Whiterun, and the Rift, but it also acts as an important supply line in and out of Cyrodiil. I agree, Animorph. These books are a little bit long, but uh, you'd think with all these pages they would make more use of them. Hafengar. Solitude, the seat of the higher king of Skyrim, and the capital of Hafengar Hold, has always welcomed the Empire with open arms. Much commerce flows along the rivers here, and you will find the folk of this hold to be among the most hospitable in Skyrim. Which place is this? Hafengar. As you venture forth in your campaigns, be sure to maintain a secure supply line back to the Solitude. The Empire maintains ample provisions in Castle Dower, from which General Tullius commands all the legions stationed in Skyrim. Hjalmarch. This hold is divided evenly between windswept tundra dotted with farms and a huge, stinking salt marsh. There is little of interest here, save perhaps for the hold's capital, Morthal. Jarl Edgrod Ravenkron, Ravenkron has been cooperative enough with the Empire in the past, but will ultimately look out for her own interests if put in a difficult position. While the Hold offers minimal strategic value to the Empire, it would make an ideal staging ground for a Stormcloak Siege of Solitude, and so must be held against the enemy. The Pale The Pale is a barren realm covered by vast fields of ice and snow. Its boundaries stretch from the center of Skyrim all the way to its northern coast. Here, at the capital city of Dawnstar, <clears throat> can be found one of the busiest ports in the province. With access to the coastal waterways of Skyrim, Dawnstar could prove vital in the war effort. Should the Stormcloaks choose to attack Solitude from the river, this port would make a tempting target due to its close proximity. The Reach. Dominating the western border of Skyrim, the Reach is made up almost entirely of steep, craggy mountains. Little grows in this forbidding realm, but the capital city of Markreath has a nigh impregnable stone fortress that would make an excellent defensive position for either side in the war. Be aware that this dangerous region of Skyrim is home to the Forsworn. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rebellious natives of the Reach. They know the terrain, can strike without warning, and count the Empire as an enemy. If they attack, you must neither give nor accept any mercy. The Rift. This hold occupies the southeast corner of Skyrim, and much like the Reach in the west, is dominated by tall mountain peaks. The climate in the Rift is milder than in the northern holds. And there is more vegetation to be found here. Farming thrives as a result. A word of warning about Riften, the Hold's capital city. Our agents have reason to suspect that the Thieves' Guild makes its home here, though it is now much diminished from its strength of previous years. Nevertheless, mind that your men keep an eye on their coin purses should they have reason to spend any length of time in this city. Whiterun. This central hold is characterized by wide, grassy plains that are home to numerous farms. Many roads pass through Whiterun, joining the more distant holds together. The hold's capital city, also called Whiterun, 
sits on a high, rocky prom promon promontory amid a large, flat swath of scrubland. Among the wealthiest cities of Skyrim, White Run has usually proven friendly to the Emperor's, Emperor's soldiers. Winterhold. This bleak, snow-blown hold in the northeast corner of Skyrim is utterly inhospitable. Perhaps the mages of, at the College of Winterhold chose to make their home there because they knew they would be left largely alone. As with Falkreath and Whiterun, the name Winterhold describes both the hold and its capital city, though the word city hardly applies. The hold capital is a meager village built near the Mages College. Few other noteworthy settlements exist in this frozen waste, and it is unlikely to play any significant part in the war. Well, that's it, despite being many more pages. I, get some gear. I am working on it. Well, there's nothing in there because it was open. Oh, sure, I'll just be another Imperial. Oh, yeah. For whatever reason, I was made to look like a slave in this rough spun tunic. What, was I apparently nude before? I don't know. Oh, whoops, I just stripped myself. But you can't see that. Oh, should I get some wine and get a little bit drunk? Sure, I'll save that for later. I'll take this iron sword for now. You know, to protect myself. Light armor. Really? I'll take those boots, and I'll take this key. Because for whatever reason, I could recognize that, that it can be usable. Sorry, I need to open my inventory, which is almost infinite. Alright, I now look like another soldier, perfect for this warring nation. Well, I don't need those foot wraps anymore. Well, apparently my horns disappear. I guess these helmets have some form of magical space that takes away anything that's on top of your head. Oh, sorry, I was dissociating a little bit. What, Animorph, did you want to see my nice bod? I might be using a form of modern speech. But I think we're a little bit past the idea of time itself. Oh, that had to hurt. Ah. I'll just keep slashing away. Somehow this doesn't cut you down. Sorry, I guess you just didn't want to give up. Let me see if I can get that door open. Well, that's an unpleasant looking position to die in. I think I'll take your hammer, and your armor, and your boots, and your gauntlets. Well, that's a little bit revealing. <laughs> I think a nice war hammer will do nicely. At least for the time being. Ah, I think I can drop this sword. Oop. Sorry, cutting into your leg a little bit, apparently. But that's just natural in this world. Physics never makes sense here. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess I can follow you. Come on, this way. Well, down the stairs we go, deeper into the keep. Oh, look. Oh, look again. A convenient collapse. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen, now! These Imperials have potions. Oh, I know, I can press a certain button in my head to block. Oh, well, thank you for making it convenient to lose most of my stamina. Hammer time. Do you have another? You do have another hammer. Oh, a battle axe. This is a little less damage, but I think it's pretty fun to look at. Let's change things up a little bit. A little bit of a faster speed for attacking. Sorry, I forgot I need to equip myself with some more armor. Since there's a certain rating for how easy you can survive. Well, I can use that magic of potion for later. Use this for healing. A knife. Oh, that'll do nicely. I mean, what else can I really do with a knife when there are other soldiers with big battle axes and war hammers? Olaf and the dragon. Well, I can read that later. I think we need to be moving on a little bit. Sorry, my turning is a little bit slow. Give me just a second. And now I've changed the settings in my head, so now I can move so much more easier. Hmm. I'll take those, this, and that. Well, to cut with? Certainly, because I can cut most people down. <laughs> Are we ready? Done then, this way. My, you move a little slow. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need it. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that was fast. Well, that's convenient. You killed one of your allies. Well, thanks for letting me in. I don't need a max to kill you, apparently. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Come with us. Do you have anything of interest? I'll take your bracers. I hope you don't mind. Get out of here. You have no authority. Well, I'll take this for a little bit later. Reading two books, I think, would did plenty. Lockpicks in this place. Something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key. I'll take this brief history too. How he managed to stay standing. Hmm. Well, if I have his giant battle axe. Grab what you can and let's go. Well, can you wait at least one moment? Book of the Dragonborn. Surely this won't be meaning anything soon. Let's try and pick this lock. 
middle to the left, middle to the right, and open. Well, should I be a mage, I could probably use some of your stuff. Well, time to learn some spells quickly. Okay. Let's learn. Oh, it's hard to navigate in a place like this, apparently. There's no way out that way. Oh, well, thanks for your sense of positivity. Must you keep stopping every time I catch up to you? Move, please. <sighs> How about I just get on ahead? I'll explore and you follow. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Thank you, and good night. Anything of use? Not at this time. Oh, you're down to size. Well, I'll take care of that. Let me just use some magic. Oh, well, you conveniently dodge that. Give me just a second. I need to get my battle axe back out. Good night to you. My head is well horned to take you out. I'll take that. I will take your bow. And for you, I'll take your arrows. And go from there. See what this goes. Yeah, let's just pull this convenient lever. And somehow it has the ability to pull back up. Oh, we can go back. Show the others we'll find another way out. Let me see if I can find anything of use out here. Oh, hello. A different route. A coin purse? You won't need that. I mean, you don't have a bone to pick with me, do you? <laughs> And this was the other way. Oh, I have to run, catch up. Oh, you won't need those either. I mean, you're pretty hip. I guess we'd better try this way. Oh. Let's attack some spiders. Cut you all down. Oh, left and a right and a left to right. Cut. Oh, I'm just a regular cut up, aren't I? Giant snakes. <laughs> hmm. I don't need your venom. 
However, it does look a little bit valuable. Do you have anything else of use? Well, apparently these will be useful. Oh, I'm sorry. Desiccated corpse. Oh, jeez. Well, you just fell like a bag of potatoes. Let me climb up here. A web sack. Oh, that, yes, was a skeever. How the heck did I hurt myself? Well, I don't think there's anything else of use in here. This looks like the way. Oh, don't worry, Animorph. I'll kill him. Well, not this guy. I already killed those spiders, but you know. Do you have anything of use there, Scully? Oh, this place just Hold seems... Oh, but I will. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Why take it by surprise? Go ahead. And do this. Not the snaking type, huh? And down you go. I would rather not sneak, as convenient as it may be. It gives me advantages, but I don't think I need to worry about sitting slowly, crawling. I prefer to kind of move through things a little bit fast. Now that you're out of the way, I can see what you are in front of. And apparently you had nothing. I mean, I'd think, in a world like this, you would have some form of reward for being a powerful being, even if you're just a bear. Oh, well, I guess I couldn't walk along the wall there. This looks like the way. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Let me just follow this floating symbol. The High King of Skyrim, Torig, was recently killed by Elfric Stormcloak, who used the agent power of the Thum to nearly shout Torig to pieces. Well, that's painful. Wait! Oh, I'm sure we're fine. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't well, have made it without your help. I think having someone nearby might make things a little bit interesting. Even if this is the millionth time. I'll just watch you slowly run. Listen. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. You could sure. Hear someone like you. I mean, you almost the killed me again. A drag. General Talius is the only one who can stop them. Don't mind me while I pick up random ingredients from this world. Still going somewhere? You seem to be moving so much See that like you're in a hurry. There. Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. 
Well, jogger is a very fancy word for zombie. I mean, zombies are so ingrained in different societies. Why not? These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, see for yourself. Well, I kind of enjoy being a bit of a warrior type. Having that nice ability to knock someone out with your head. That's pretty fun. Let's learn some combat skills. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Well, thank you for being on my side. Now. Well, you were understanding to begin with. What am I saying? You seemed a little bit... sad that I was involved and about to be executed. Listen. As far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your palm. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? Sure. I hope that dragon is still flying around here, sir. Let me take aim. Can you not get in my way, please? Well, that looks like it hurts. Or looks like it did. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Yay, we're making it to a town. It looks like a nice town. Quaint. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Will do. Come on, there's my uncle. Oh, I'll get around the flower. I mean, I must have, like, infinite stuff uncle to carry. Hello. What are you doing here? Are you on leave from short bows? What happened to you, boy? Well, Shh, Uncle, kind of trouble. keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's Lucan right. over in the river. my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Says they hardly took anything. Okay, uh, sorry, okay. I can only listen to one person at a time. Sigrid will get you something to eat. And you can tell me all about it. Well, another quest solved. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now? We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Thank you, Ger thank you, Gerder. Even though I never met you before until now. Well, if you're all killed, how can you be believing anything? Unless it's just the afterlife where you're in belief, and you're like, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, but now that we're dead, I'm aware of everything. Sigrid, we have company. Somehow you could see her through the floor. Well, that's nice. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't Oh, drunk, well, it's very are you, believable. Boy? Husband. Let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. 
This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place Who calls to their stay. significant other husband? Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Well, I don't need a tunic since I'm just going to be casually going around in armor. I will take some bread, though. And a carrot. And cheese. A garnet. Some mead. An ingot. Magic resist. More mead. Healing. An apple. Well, I could use this. In some way. The Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. That egg is slowly rolling along. White run to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Hmm. Cross the river and then head north. I'll ask. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Well, I need to learn a little bit again. He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't Your lips last. don't seem to be keeping up with what you're saying. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Ellison much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Hmm. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair weather friends. I'll ask who Elisif is. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Yara only moderately. Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Mm, I'll see use no your harm forge. In it if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Understood. If you've got the raw materials. You can use the forge to make something new. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart? Ah, religion and, maybe and destroy politics. The Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. I'll ask about those Thalmor. War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos' worship, we didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes your of this hand war, is literally you in your me. thigh. I... How far? Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? 
Well, I'd better get back to work. You two make yourselves at home. Hmm. Another book, but it's not mine. A Gentleman's Guide to Whiterun. Let's just read one book. By Mikhail the Bard. Oh, bards are always nice. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide, well, if someone has a little bit of an ego, will describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the jewel of the north. Whiterun offers numerous diversions for the man in search of adventure, fortune, and companionship, whether for a night or for a lifetime. The city is graced with not one, but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and wenches aplenty. Oh, it's always about the women. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well for not... For it is... And this is well. Hmm. For it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon the rocky hill, Whiterun dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High stone walls protect it from its, dens sorry, its denizens from the wolves, mammoths, and bandits, and other dangers lurking beyond. When you first enter through the city's main gates, you will find yourself in the plains district. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city's three neighborhoods. Ah... But here can be found the Bannered Mare, which I count among the finest taverns in all Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling, if you have an eye for the fairer sex. Mm, right. A stout lass named Hulda tends the bar. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed of that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. Well... I can tell you're all about the sex in this book. Sadia, the barmaid, is an exotic red guard beauty. She is quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. Oh man, you really want to learn so much about the opposite sex. Outside the bannered mare is a modest marketplace, and here is where I found true love. Though I would never deter a fellow hunting hound from the chase. Oh, well, I guess someone is really passionate with their humility. For indeed, why should I author these tomes if not to provide guidance in this very matter? I must ask that you do me with this one kindness. Her name is Carlotta Valentia, and she is a magnificent, magnificent beauty who makes a modest living selling bread and produce in the daylight hours. By the gods, I will make that feisty beauty mine someday. Ugh, this writer, this author. And of course, there are other services to be found in the Plains District. Belathor's General Goods offers various and sundry wares for the adventurous traveler. And Arcadia's Cauldron offers what tonics and herbs one would expect from an apothecary's shop. Arcadia herself is an amiable sort. I often visit her to make conversation, as she is an imperial far from home. She is, however, a bit old for my taste. A gentleman of advanced years might find her wor a worthy companion. Should you need your blade sharpened or your armor hammered, War Maidens offers smithing services very near the main gate. The smith is a pretty imperial named Adrian Avenci, Avenici, but she is married to a great hulking brute named Al Alberth Warbear. Oh, well, you're not complimenting of the same sex I can see. Adrian is quite fair, and thank you for watching, Keyblade Mistress. Adrienne is a quite fair, but I should not want to find myself being introduced to the keen edge of that husband's war axe. If married, ladies are your preferred sport, then have at. But don't say that you weren't warned. 
Near the smith, near to the smith, is the drunken huntsman. Here, some of the wealthier gentlemen gather to share both drink and rumors at the of the wide world. If you prefer a more distinguished class of company, while you sip fine wine, you'll be well at home here. Of the wind district, I have little to say. Most of the buildings in this second tier of the city are residences. Though there is also a Temple of Kinnereth and Yorvaskar, the Mead Hall of Companions, of THE Companions. Uh, this writer makes me tired of reading his ri stories. There are some intriguing prospects to be found in the Mead Hall should you favor a strong and fearless warrior woman. You will find little game at the temple, however. The priestess, Denica... Pure Spring is interested almost exclusively in spiritual matters. At least, at last, we come to the Cloud District, exclusive domain of the Jarl's Castle. I have had some merry adventures within the stone walls of Dragon's Reach, let me tell you. The serving girls are most easily impressed by a well spoken gentleman. After all, the knights in Skyrim do grow quite cold. If you take my meaning, ugh, this author speaks of nothing but sleeping with other women. And I will not deny that I have visited the town's jail once or twice. <laughs> well, I guess that's a bit deserved. Which can be found in the lower levels of the palace. As for the Jarl and his court, take pains to avoid them. I find that they lack any sense of humor and or appreciation for refined culture. Refined culture isn't about just getting women, my fine bard. Besides which, they are all wealthy men and so must be viewed as your most serious competition. These Nords are simple folk, after all, and too easily swayed by the sight of fine clothes and a purse full of septums. Now I will conclude this work by wishing your great success in your pursuits of women and wine. Spare moments in your revels to think of me, your humble author, and the risks I have taken to bring you this most thorough report on all things of interest to the discerning gentleman in this grand city of Whiterun. Ah, uh, but I will not lie and say that it is was all a hardship. After all, who would want to sleep alone in such a cold and hard land as this? Not I. Uh, you might be a bard, but you're not very poetic. I won't take that book. It's of no interest to me. Can I help you? Um, thank you, but no thank you. I can take your gold, but I'd feel bad about it. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? More Let's or less. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. You didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right. The leader of the Stormcloaks. Well, if you're asking Jester... Freedom, that depends on... Really all about Ulfric wanting Hold on. To be high king of Skyrim. If you're talking about Equestria LA... It might be a possibility. It might not, given... Jester works a weekend schedule. So unfortunately, there might not be atten attendance. And it is a bit of a drive, and we are at a busy point, but it depends on when the convention would be. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support, so a few months ago he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. How convenient. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. 
Mm -hmm. This time, the general turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly, too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrildim, but I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. Well, I didn't think the dead dragons were dead all that long ago. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Halt to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. You know, I could join the Imperial Legion. Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Hmm. No, not yet. After all, a dragon I is something out of angry old tales and legends. But not no that much. No one could have expected that. But you can bet he'll be trying to figure it out. This could shift the whole balance of the war. If you want to help stop that dragon, your best bet is to go to Solitude and join up with the Legion. Well, maybe I'll join. I hope so. The Legion is Skyrim's only hope right now. Come on, we better get moving. Well, you're not going anywhere fast. Dorothy, listen to me. Your father and your friend may treat you like a boy, but you're not. Do you understand? So please, be a girl. For me? It's just that Papa promised I could make something at the fort. So maybe we could do something together next week? Is that okay? Oh, Dorothy. You're breaking your mother's heart, you know that? Ugh, guilt tripping. That's nice. Well, I won't be able to have any form of say in this family affair. Oh, well, I guess in that short time it became night. I was hoping to talk to Hadvar. I guess I can't at this time. Hmm. I will, however, take some of these to help better, well, my armor, because I need protection. Let's see if I can make anything. Can't make anything, apparently, at this time. Although I need to make some leather. Well, it's a good start. Studded armor doesn't do much for me. It is nice, but not as good as iron armor. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started. Oh, you are here, but where are you? Okay, you're somewhere, but you're not nearby. Uh, 
I need to get this armor put on really quick. Well, I guess I should explore this town a little bit. Well, invading isn't my thing, but apparently I can do that anywhere here. You lost. Well, you're nice. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. Did you hear? The Riverwood trader was robbed. Poor Lucan must be torn to pieces over it. Well, I'll look there then. Riverwood trader. I guess this is the place. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I'll ask you a few questions. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Right. Something did happen, though, and I should probably maybe help you. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Well, that's convenience, given the dragon attack we just had. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. I could try. If you want to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Good old quest so this time. Is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Okay, let's get this quest going. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are Your voice is displaced. Traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Oh, thank you. Just sit in the middle of the street. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden... I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Well, your brother don't seem to be... You and your brother don't seem to be communicating. It's a usual breakdown of a lot of things. Communication will help you in the long run. This is the bridge Trust of me. Town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Well, thank you very much. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. How convenient. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Well, time to do some exploring. Oh, that's a little bit spooky.
this tree is making bird noises for whatever reason. This bird just... this tree just lost all of its birds. Why is it still chirping? Hell, nothing in this world makes sense. I'll grab you. And use you for whatever crafting needs. Oh, great. Thank you. I'll take a couple arrows for you. I will say the sky looks nice in Skyrim. A little bit bleak, but nice. These stones look very poorly placed. Oh, hello. There seem to be people, but I'm willing to bet they're bandits. Oh, that's not good. You're nice. And down you go. Oh, you have gold and a lockpick. Thank you. And I'll level up because that makes sense. Leveling up. When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magic, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Bill perks are highlighted in each constellation. I didn't read the things before since everyone kind of knows a lot of this. They've been through it. It's more or less the same. Hmm. Well. Archery isn't so high on my list, but I can do something with it. Give me just a moment and I'll shoot back. Let me try this. I always have trouble aiming this dang bow. Oh, don't fall off yet. I need to pillage. You can take these. Are you willing to bet that there's someone at the top? I'll take those coins. Oh, you can see me. Let me take a shot at your head.
You see, headshots should kill you. Ooh, right in the chin. I will take this and that. I don't think I need a shield. I'm going for more two-handed shots. With a nice big weapon, like a battle axe. Oh, but you didn't have any bands? Didn't have any gauntlets? Well, for Jester, he didn't go to Brennicon this year, and he hasn't gone since 2015. Too much drama to deal with. And pretty poor treatment of the vendors. That doesn't even look very natural. The snow would not look like that on wood. Oh, nice and snowy. I mean, the fact I'm wearing some iron armor, you'd think I'd be a lot colder. can't even see. I have a feeling somebody's up there. Are you gonna show your face? There we go. And one more to your face. You can't dodge. Arrow fight. Oh. And down you go. There you are. Hmm. I will take that arrow back. Lockpick, more arrows, and more arrows. Well, I can probably run in now. Nothing to worry about here. It's not like there's going to be more of those bandits on the inside. Oh, look and see. Hmm, if I can get closer, maybe I can listen in. I'll take that and that. Good night. My, you have a great 
arrangement of your team here. Take this. Oh, you have my arrow. Thank you. A little left. A little right. And open. Okay, let's search around and see what we can find. up here. All right, that works. A lot of magic potions. I mean, it's not like I'm looking to be a mage, but I could sell those potions. knocking you down, knocked you out, or just plain killed you. Let's see. Snake, snake, whale. Let's just move these around conveniently. But let me see if there's anything up there. Oh, finally a potion for healing. I mean, that would have been more convenient than all those magic potions. Take a lesser soul gem for whatever that's needed for. Take this thief book since it seems to be helpful. Nope. Farewell. Don't you look at me like that. Why did you have a ring? Well, you just stand there conveniently on top of the other body. Okay. Level up again. I need a bit more stamina. Let's get more damage. Just a candle. Weak paralysis potion. I don't think I'll be needing that anytime soon. a little bit. 
I'm working on it. Well, that's enough. Poisoned. I'll take a couple of those arrows back. Does that pit lead anywhere? Get me down. Get me down. Hold your horses. You over here. Oh, but aren't you a bandit? You look like one. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. All right. I don't think you can hand me over the claw like that. But I'll see if I can cut Sweet you down. Sweet breath of arcade. Thank you. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Hmm. <laughs> Good night. I need to cut you down like that. Good night to your legs and good night to you. Oh, a better battle axe. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll take your journal. Mm. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Lucan Valerius, had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the situation is in the palm of your hands. I'm sure we can find that out. I'll just skip what looks like another trap. And goodbye. Hold on, I need to get something real quick. Thank you for waiting conveniently. I'll take your fist and your bone meal. Sorry, I need to level up real quick. I think I'll stick to being a warrior. It's a lot more fun. Hmm, I should probably get some better armor. And your legs go down, and you go down. Hmm. 
Oh, you have a better bow. All right. I don't think I need this warhammer anymore. Oh, well, that's convenient. Ow, oh, that hurts. But not enough I can't heal from. Thank you for the increase in my armor rating. Right in your heart. And I should probably heal myself. Hmm, maybe if I sneak up. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, but I have another idea. Hmm. Health and Magicka. And you burn. You've been burned. I'm on fire. <laughs> Man, you don't stay on fire for very long. Goodbye to your legs and goodbye to you. You know, these, uh... Non zombies known as Draugr. They totally don't act like smart zombies. I mean, that would make sense. And goodbye. I'll take this. to see over here, there, anywhere. Oh, I just remembered. I didn't check that other room I was chasing. Uh, whatever his name, the Swifton. Give me just a moment. Well, maybe more than a moment. Hmm, bandit iron armor. That's even better. How do I look? Well, a little better. Sometimes I get an out of body experience. I think you know how that is. Here we are. Well, it looks like someone already pillaged. Hmm. Well, I guess this was a waste of a run. My stamina be so low. I didn't restart this trap. <sighs> Whew, 
who in the world would have been able to restart that trap? I didn't do anything and I killed everyone on the way. There's no reason. Yeah, nearly got my back sliced off. That's a nice feeling. But I heal quickly. I mean, inhumanly quickly. Hmm, these mushrooms seem to be glowing. Well, you don't need that anymore. I mean, your losses are bona fide. <laughs> Do I have iron boots? I do. Hmm. Well, time to chase down some zombies. I mean, Draugr. Totally doesn't sound like a dragon. Time to jump over here. And go down here. I'll take your tail. I'll take what you have. I could just barely fit through here. Let's try to the left. And here we go. I already have a helmet. Why would I need another? Now oh, that waterfall looks so realistic. It just looks like it's a repeat appearance of itself. Let me take these mushrooms. I'll use those for later. A little bit of experimenting, maybe. <laughs> I should have blocked. Ah, uh, why? Oh, you can wait a moment. Well, that was fair. Ish. I mean, the fact I can freeze time and heal myself is perfect. Tuh. First try. Oh, only for eight gold. to see. Oh great, another one of these. Ah, my depth perception is way off. I see how it is. Ha 
I just dodged your arrow. Well, and there's this cold good nerd. I mean, given it's Skyrim, it's a very cold place. The coldest place in gaming. Unless it's Lost Planet. Oh, sorry. Wrong game. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take those. Oh, nothing here. Well, you'd think with these kind of places, they would put more in here. I just got a very dark feeling. Hmm. Let's look at that golden claw. Bear, moth, owl. And away we go. Is that a bat? Hmm, nothing here. I just think that there's gonna be a small ambush of sorts. Oh, there are the bats. Anything to see over here? Oh, there is a chest. First try again. Oh, that'll be valuable. Hello, thank you for watching the Doctor 4554. I keep hearing chanting. I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh, this will do very nice. But I don't have a shield. lost my sight for a moment there. Something is going to come out there. There it is. Okay, the arrow went right through him. That is totally fair. Ah, you didn't miss that time. I didn't have the arrow pulled back on purpose. And I made you stumble. 
And away you go. Oh, that'll be even more useful. I'm sure. Well, pain aside, I think we're done here. Well, a switch, how nice. To reintroduce myself, I'm Nian Blacktail. I am someone reliving another life in this land of Skyrim. Hmm, I can't take those berries. Whoops. Didn't mean to take the skull. Oh, 32 gold isn't bad to start off with. Oh, I just exited up the uh, side of a mountain. How nice. Well, I could practice rock climbing. Hmm. Well, that wasn't too hard. A mammoth skeleton. And a blood stain. I am an Argonian. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, don't world break on me now. Oh. Well, this is convenient. Let me retry something. Uh, this little cursed thing is going to be a pain. Jeez, it's a great time for everything to break. I need to fix this. Pardon me just a moment as I re-enter this world. I'm still going, just pretend that nothing happened. Some would call it technical difficulties, you know. Okay, problems should be fixed. The most famous hero of Skyrim is Tiber Septim, who conquered all of Tamriel and founded Septim something, something, something. This is a really nice looking place. Uh. 
Oh, what's over here? Let me check my map. Ah, I'll just quickly run over here. Deathhounds are used as guardians by vampires. How they came to be is unknown, but their bite is as cold as the grave. Feindolf, you move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. Oh, more relationship drama, I see. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason. Let me ask about helping you on the forge, because that's what I wanted to do before. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Alright. Iron dagger. Over your bat, friend. Whatever you need. My east not bad. Here's the dagger. But it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Until next time. Even though I'm not actually grinding the appropriate weapon. Here you go. You're looking for a new blade? This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. All right. Mm-hmm. Make more leather. Iron or steel. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see of if course. you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. But I'm past a hide helmet. Alrighty. Good Let's day. try this. I'll give you this. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's hurry this up a little bit. I wasn't Hadvar's Alva. Whatever you need. I is near if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. You looking for a new blade? Oh, great drama. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. You have time. There you are. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a yeah. fine Yeah, this is a lot day. faster than what actual smithing would be. Keep that dagger and helmet. Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? What have you got Looking for sale? To protect yourself or deal some damage. Well, give me a second. I need to get rid of these. I don't use these, I'm sorry to say. Oh. I think I looked at the wrong thing. I will, however, take this pickaxe, since it will be put to good use. A little expensive for me right now, I'm sorry to say. Hmm, that looks nice.
Hmm, maybe you can take a few things. Or not. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get back to uh, the Riverwood Trader. So, Lucan, or whatever his name is. There's going to be so many names to remember. I can give him back his thing. The sooner you find the claw. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Your mouth doesn't. Strange. It seems smaller. But despite than your <laughs> speech. Funny thing, huh? Your face doesn't match I'm your speech. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Yeah, just leave the golden claw in the open where someone else can take it. It means so much Thank to you us so to much for taking lives. care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Take a look. Now let's try and sell some stuff now. I'll sell this and that. Hmm. What else can I sell? I know I need to keep some of these enchanted items to break them down for my own usage. Hmm. Well, hang on to some of these gems. You don't have much for arrows. Hmm, you have quite a bit for the mage type. Pretty expensive, too. Till next time. It's a fine day with you around. Well, thank you. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Um, how do I look sickly? You're not from around here. That makes two of us. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. I'm sure that's true. But I think I'm done here for right now. Oh. Well, thank you. Let's get back out. Well, I think it's time for us to make our quest. Maybe. You know, I should probably explore here a bit more. Excuse me, kids. And dog. Good Big dog. dog. Oh, pretty small town. Oh, I got a free egg. How nice. Jumping fences like they're nothing. Let's see what's over in Hods and Girder's house. We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. I own the lumber mill and pay a fair wage. See my husband Hod if you're looking for work. Uh, will do. It's my mill. Some folks thinks it's my town too. But it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. Taxes have been a long-running thing. How enjoyable. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Well, that maybe I... wasn't what I was going for, but okay. I already have that book. I thought I did. Hmm, give me a second. I do have that book. That's unusual. Well, 
Whoa. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. Did you really see Sorry, my voice broke for a moment there. Because she just flew. Hmm, what do you have to say, Embry? You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? Got any ale or mead? Well, I have plenty. Oh. How about some alto wine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just continue looking at that post. It's a nice looking post. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. Hmm. I guess that everyone says something about Nords. Here to work. Get an axe. Bring me all the wood you can chop. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? Well, where do I find an axe? There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Oh, but you have an axe. But where do I find an axe? Oh, here we go. Let's chop a little bit of wood. You would think that, with smithing being so fast, this would be a lot faster. Well, let's do this for just a moment. Hard. Honest gold for honest work. I... Thirty gold, not bad. Me, I've got my axe, my wife Gerder, and my boy Frodnar. That's all I need. A nice, happy family life. It sounds like. I don't want to get involved in relationship drama, to be honest. Oh, there you are, Miss Flying. Hmm, though I am curious about what their conversation is. I can only hammer so fast, Kurt. They don't have to be perfect. Just send them over when they're ready. Well, nothing there, I suppose. I think it's time for us to go to Whiterun. It might take a moment, though. Well, longer than a moment. But I could do so with some running. There's a chirping tree again. Looks like somebody did some hunting. Hello, wolves. I will take this and that. Another time to level up. Let's get a bit more protective.
And they killed a rabbit, too. I'll take its leg. Time to do a little bit of parkour. Well, it's a lot closer than I thought. Well, let's skip through here a little bit. And see what the Jarl has to say. Hunting Bermudery. Perfect place to get some brew. And a floating butterfly. I shall harvest its body parts. <laughs> Is that a guard? It is. You'd think I'd have a lot more stamina by now. Oh well, great. I came at a perfect time. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Well, I just got here at the last moment. Well. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. Well, it's ask. Outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. Yeah, just talk we through your buddy. And sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Maybe I can join you. Makes a bit of things a bit interesting. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Yeah, just continue talking through your buddy. Oh, just an arrow. Okay, then. You're getting tired of hanging around talking all day. You just started. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father, Jürgen, raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Hmm. Too confusing I'll ask. for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. No, oh, you're violent. <laughs> Codlack is the one who figures out who can be a companion, so talk to him. It's out of my hands. Until next time. See ya. Let me just catch up with you two and ask maybe a few questions. Good afternoon. Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kotlak and Skewer fighting off the 101 orc berserkers? Skewer says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. Hmm. The circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skewer, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlack advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Okay. Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? <sighs> you wish. When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Iskramor. 
This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Good day. Need to catch up with your Ayla friend. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. I think you have unique armor. My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Black Lake. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. An I'll outsider, ask again. Eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Kodlak says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But hmm. I will follow the old man's lead. Someone really likes to fight, but I guess that's the companions. We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Kodlak if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. I'll take my leave then. Well, time to go into Whiterun. Oh, you're coming towards me, eh? Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Well, I have some news. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Persuasion's a fun thing. Well, I don't want to pick a lock into a shop that seems kind of offensive. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Oh. Oh, those kids just running out of nowhere. little girl what are you looking at I'm not afraid of you you know even if you are my elder hmm it's no fun getting pushed around all the time well I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the gray mane's yard and me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for birds eggs but I don't do that stuff anymore Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Hmm. Bye. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim I your work sword, with my mother, or you can keep your wife. If you set it's foot fun outside days. that gate, I work. won't be here when you return. Everyone wants to talk. You should probably be in bed. Wait, You're looking a bit I... under the weather. 
They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll you tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Apparently I need to he sleep. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. Oh, no bandits. Fool. Okay. Maybe the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I can get rid of some bandits. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a red guard. My family hails from the Imperial province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Will do. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. I help could use you get an open speech. In the future? About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. No, it's, it's not. forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation mostly. You a have lot to of love a reputation. Smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Farewell. I'm surprised he hasn't been arrested yet. Ulfred, patron of the great clan. You were looking in the wrong direction. Name I'm sure you know well. Well, isn't your voice familiar? I like I've heard it a ton of other times. What do you need? Let's enter Dragon's Reach. this then aren't you on the offensive what's the meaning of this interruption Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors well that explains why the guards let you in come on then the Jarl will want to speak to you yeah good old news Dragons are a very fanciful thing that keep things a lot moving a lot. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Well, I'm not that sarcastic. Well, on occasion I might be, but not this time. I'm a bit more respectful towards any type of, well, greater types. By Ismir, Irileth was right. Oh, I didn't see the third option. Great. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, the Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. 
feel the Sumer preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Prevent Suitable for down. someone of your you need to particular talents, perhaps. What would you Come, do let's go find Faringar, my court know. wizard. You know I He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Use subtlety and suggestion to turn his thoughts to the war. Your steward. Give me a moment to change my armor. I listen to you. Leave me out of your intrigues, Rongar. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. Well, someone's angry. Varengar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Pardon me? Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Knock out this. And all I have to do it with this. And do that. things a lot easier but so now I don't have gauntlets. You can be of use to me oh yes he must be referring to my research into the dragons you seem so interested yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me well when I say fetch I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone your former speech that is may so or expressive may not actually be there Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker, perhaps even a scholar. You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? Well, what do you need? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. You mean this? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. Well, I don't need a reward that fast. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the hostilities. rest of the great warriors. Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. Mm -hmm. Barangar, you need to come at once. 
A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. A dragon decides to attack Whiterun. I don't know if we can stop it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You seem to be waiting conveniently. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. When did you do Don't that? Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal arm. Well, well, this is moving very fast. Come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. So many books to read. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Mm -hmm. A guard may stop combat, if something. Well, I think this is about a good time for me to bow out and let Jester take back over. So, I shall go with that autosave that Nian just had. And say that this will end this stream of Nian's adventures in Skyrim. So, I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow or Wednesday, depending on how things go, since errands and all. But I will let you guys know in the Discord chat, and you, as always, know, it is linked below this stream itself and in the actual stream itself at the discord.gg fa 7 me Again, I didn't come up with the name, it was just randomly generated conveniently. So, I want to thank you all for watching at this late time of day. It's now past midnight for me, but I'm sure it's much later for you guys, depending on your time zone. So yeah, I'm glad you all came to watch. And, I'm Jester Day Rama. And again, streams will be moved to Monday since Friday is the day I work now. But, um... I'm trying to think if I need to do any plug stuff. I'm so used to doing the Gamey Axe thing where people plug their things. But you know where to find me. You can go to my Discord server or just follow me here on Twitch. But other than that, thank you again for watching. And as I always do say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I shall see you guys next time, buggies. Love you.